All right, you can see I've got the little wire up now, all the way down, and it's rolled up in that corner right there. I'm fixing to clip it, and uh, I'm gonna staple it back, and then I'm gonna clip it. And then I can put the rails on completely, like the like get it done, finish the rails. I've got two boards, um, corral boards right here. One is a really long one. Um, I don't really know the lengths. I can't remember how long they were, but I can, as far as this building goes, this is eight foot and both boards. Now there's two by sixes on top, but both boards underneath are shooting out past the end of the building and is shooting out past the end of the building. This one really far. I would say this one on top, this first one right here, is probably 10 foot. And then I would probably guess that this bottom one is a 16 foot. Um, and, I believe I was having some outside time. I said, off the TV and let's go outside. All right, so y'all can see the cattle panels are gone from here. The first one I used on this end, closed up this end. See, this is completely done now. The second one I used at the far end and then I went out by the old feed room and I brought one long one and then the one that was cut, a piece was cut off of it to make the gate out there you know i swung it back so i could go in and out the feed room so this one hangs long you can see it's too long but i can't cut it myself i've got bolt cutters but i i can't cut through it so i'm gonna get daniel to cut this now i was waiting today is saturday i was daniel said he could help me this evening dig the holes for the fence the rest of the fencing um, after I dug this hole here, now this is the one that Daniel started for me. I got it finished and set. And then in the other videos y'all already seen, this pole I did and set. So y'all also seen in the other video that I built the gate and I put some panels on it yesterday. This is two small panels that I got from that mess at the gully. And um, they overlap right here, but they're perfect. And then I've got this latch, closes up, it has a key that locks it so it can't be opened. And I put a spring on it down there so it sort of pulls it close. And if you don't throw it too hard, it'll latch. It, this latch is supposed to be like self-closing when the gate locks, it locks. When the gate shuts, it locks. But there are times, like if I let it go, nope, it caught that time. I'm going to do this three or four times. Like I come through to feed them. See how it pop back? See? And it doesn't latch. So the spring helps it at least stay looking closed. All right. Now, I set these posts day before yesterday. It was um, one, two, three, four posts I had to set. I did it slow. I did one. I'd go sit down and drink some tea. Then I'd set another one. Um, my worst, the hardest one was this one and that tall one right there. That's a 10 foot one. Uh, that was an older one that had laid around. You know, I've got a bunch of them stacked underneath all this lattice. You can see one more, one more brand new one right there. See how it's yellow still? The other ones are gray. I've got two gray ones down on the ground down there. I've got one gray one right next to it. I've got this one that's been used before and it's been painted gray. But they're still good because they're actual four by fours. And then there's some landscape timbers that need to go to the burn pile. Hi, ladybug. Hi, girl. Hi, my love. Filthy, filthy girl. I rubbed yesterday fly spray. I sprayed her. Where's it at? Oh, it's hanging on the fence over there. Um, I sprayed her all over and then I spray it in my hands and rub her face under her eyes and all around to keep the flies off of her. Anyway, um, you've already eaten and I'm not giving you anything else. 
So I've got one more new one there. I've got three new ones at the back end of my car that I need to bring and stack somewhere, but I'm not gonna stack them here because I'll get to that in a minute. But anyway, so this one was a 10 foot one. I didn't even realize it when I pulled it out because it's lightweight. These are still, the newer ones are still fairly heavy. They still are wet from the stuff they put in them. And this one wasn't heavy at all. I didn't think about it and I put it in the ground. I was hitting roots there, but I did get 22 inches in the ground. I like to get 24. I got 22 inches there. The other ones um, was between uh, 20 and 22 inches. But they're in good. You can see, I mean, you can see, even see how much is left sticking out of the ground. I got them in the ground good. And I did it without the auger because I did not want, if, if I had waited for Daniel till this afternoon to come with the auger, then I would not have any of this done yet. I mean, nothing would be done. I'd still be waiting to put posts in the ground. And I needed to just go ahead and get started on it. I'm also reusing all of the boards that go around this fence. So you can already see I took the top one here. I took all of them from here, all from there, and all from there. And I took the top and the middle from that one. But it's all coming down. The thing was, I was using the ones that I could use. Now these, I mean, I'm going to use now. There are going to be some of these that aren't going to be used now. I will still keep them. I've got one laid over there that I haven't put up yet. Um... I got it and brought it over here and this is a little, um, this is eight foot between this post and that post. And that was cut at like three inches shy of being eight foot. So when it was used on this fence over here, it had been cut. So it didn't match. And I have the full eight foot ones in my car, but by the by the time I'd measured that and thought, oh my gosh, I gotta go drag them from over there over here. I couldn't do another thing last night. I was so exhausted. So. All right, you can see I've got the little wire up now, all the way down, and it's rolled up in that corner right there. I'm fixing to clip it, and uh, I'm gonna staple it back, and then I'm gonna clip it. And then I can put the rails on completely, like the like get it done, finish the rails. So uh, yeah, won't be much longer, and. Um, I think this board goes here. Just have to cut it. That board is the one that was too short for anything. Those are two bottom boards, and that was the one that was in the center down there in the middle, that far end. I didn't really like that board. If y'all can even see it from here, it's got a crown in it on this side. See how it's bowed at the top over here? So when I stuck it up there, it looked like it was a frown. I hated that. But um, I want to use as much as I can. So I was trying to think, I've got one long one still way over there. But I've got a new one to go here at the top. I'm not getting up. I'm gonna sit right here. It's done. The only thing I have not done was cut all those tall tops off. Now these two at this end, I will leave over the gate because I will put a header over it. I haven't done that yet. And um, I still have three uh, corral boards in my truck to uh, do that piece of lattice stuff over there. So um, I'm not gonna do that tonight, do that anytime. It's not gonna take me a second to cut them to seven foot and screw them in. No, it's not seven foot, it's, it's just a few inches shy of eight foot. But anyway, I can do that even tomorrow afternoon at church if I wanted to. But this is done. I've got all the cattle panels up. I've got the little wire run along the bottom. It's three, it's 36 inches, so it's three foot up from the ground. And then I've got all the rails up. Now you can sort of see that I don't have the rails um, completely the center rail. 
is not completely centered. And that's because the goats tend to rub down the middle and they're not tall. So if I go up much more, their bellies won't, um, it'll be too tall for the, to touch their to belly. That's what they t t typically rub when they rub down the side of the fence, they're rubbing their bellies. Sort of start at their neck and going down to their butt. And they just sort of walk along the fence pushing. And um, so I put those rails a little bit lower than centered. Let me show you what the goats have done down here. This is what I mean when I say they push against the middle. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Mm -mm the camera let me get close to it she's gonna dirty up my water I know lots of people said something about y'all about putting the wire over it I understand that you can put the cattle panel over it and the goats and the cow can still drink but they can't but I'm not they don't get in this anymore they just look how dirty their bills are from gunk that's cow poop that's mud it's digging and all of this stuff out here and then they'll come drink clear water and all that will come off their mouths and down it watch watch her well she gonna dig more in dirt see that's what i'm saying it's not that they're getting in that and swimming it's getting it's they're taking water drinks out of it with that gunk on their mouths on their beaks on their bills. It's like she knows I'm watching her. I'm looking at you. Yes, I am. Because I know what y'all want to do. I'm looking at you. See what they've done here. Can y'all see this? It's bowed out. I don't know if y'all can see it, and it's a tight bow. Look at this. It, it comes straight down, and then right here, it starts bowing out, and then goes back in. This is from their belly. That's what they do. So, um, I eventually gotta get the rails on this one, too, and I will do that, too. Um, this was supposed to have, I mean, I did the bottoms all the way around. I just never got the top. Now, this one is a top one. Um, just, I let it hang proud right here because I needed to get it up fast because Molly was putting, starting to, not only were they pushing here, but Molly was putting her head over. So I got that back up. You can see the, I've got a solution to all this. I've ordered a, a three pack of solar lights. One, they're more of the solar floodlight. One will go over there where Levi's trampoline is going to be. His trampoline is the back of my truck. It's heavy as all get out, and I'm going to have to have people help me put together. Um, one over there. I'm going to take this one down and put one here, and I'm going to take that one down over there and put one there on the goat house. It shines into the yard here. This one shines this way. Okay, so that'll be the three that come in that set. And then I've got two hanging ones. So it looks like literally a little solar panel with, I think it says like 16 foot of wire. But it's got just a light bulb. I mean, it looks like it looks like a light bulb hanging out of a little, you know, socket. I will put the panel somewhere over here on this wall. And then I will just clip the, the, the light itself has just like a little hook at the top and you just hang it on a nail or hang it on something. So I'll be able to take all the wiring out of here. The only thing that's gonna cause a problem is if I ever have babies, chicks, they need heat. And I haven't yet looked up like a heat source that's solar. So I don't know, I'll worry about that later. But I, there's two of those coming, and I'm going to hang one in here. And at night when they go in, they'll go to the light. But what I do, like, see, the light's off right now because I haven't turned it back on. As soon as, I'll turn it on now. But to, tonight, when it's time, they'll all come into the light. And I'll throw food in here, and they'll sort of start eating. 
And then right before I close them, I'll just twist it and turn it off. So basically that's what I'll do with that one, except what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang it on a nail. And when I'm done with them, when it's time for them, they're locked up, then I'm just gonna unhook it and I'm gonna hang it on a nail right down here somewhere close to this. So the little ones will have a light and their light stays on them all night. So um, I'm not worried about them during the during the night with a light. How many eggs? I got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's thirteen eggs just in here. That dirty one in there is a fake egg, and then that one right there is a fake egg. I've got fake egg stuck up in there too. That I'm not using. Anyway, so I'm gonna be able to take all this wiring down. Because this, the other day, Molly, before I had it, see how I've got it hung behind the wire now? It used to hang up here. I had screws. See the screw up here? I had, had it just draped on every pole. And she had it yanked down. And I'm like, oh my gosh, she's going to, if it had fallen in the water or something, might not would have hurt her. But it might, it would have killed a chicken or two if they'd stuck their heads in there to get a drink. So... I'm just not gonna have that wire up there anymore. Um, so yeah. In fact, I meant not to take that gate down yet and I already did it and I meant not to let her in here, in this part because of this wire here, because the way it hangs and she tries to mess with stuff. Maybe I can get it to swing over to this tall one and hook it up high. She can't mess with it until I get the solar. I think the solar ones come in Monday or Tuesday. But I've already took the gate down right there. And if you can see, I've got the feeders all down the sides in here. Two down there and one, one in each, not this one down here, but the big one is here. And then one in each section of the fence that'll separate them as they eat, which I'm fixing to put feed in them now. But I'm going to do something to that first before I do it. Anyway, I am, uh, I put this, this was left over off of that 16 foot one that went over here. And, um, I left it proud hanging off on this end. Can y'all see that, that pole, that post? It curves in. I'm going to have Daniel when he comes with this tractor. He'll have to come with his tractor because I want him to take that at some point. I want him to take, I'm gonna get this cow fed and these goats fed and um, start pulling it together for the evening. But I'm so happy that my gate and my fence are all up and everything's done and um, I'm gonna fix that wire real quick and then I'm gonna get that done. All right, I will see you guys later. Love y'all and God bless you. Katie, I'm trying to do a video.